it's Liam here, and today I'm going to be talking about food chains and food webs. Now, food chains are, you know, fairly simple, like, you know, grass gets energy from the sun, which is then, you know, eaten by a rabbit. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and then, then you know, maybe a fox comes along and, you know, bites that rabbit, kills it, and then eats. It. And that's, that's the food chain. It, the, but there are some things which are food webs because they're much more complex. For example, the Great Barrier Reef has, uh, you know, many different uh, types of, you know, animals and plants. So, uh, that's the Great Barrier Reef. So, uh, the, the shark eats the sea eagles, if it can. Uh, it'll probably eat some fish. If it can get its hands on it, uh, probably you know, probably even eat some red sea bass if it can get some hand, its hands on it. Uh, the dugong, well, the dugong uh, eats clownfish. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's what the dugong does. Doesn't actually have any predators. Uh, the humpback whale eats plankton and nothing messes with it. I mean, grey whales are a little bit less lucky, and you know. If you're young, sometimes you get picked off by sharks, but humpback whales are much more fortunate in the way that they have absolutely no predators. Uh, sea snakes eat some red sea bass every now and again. Uh, they'll also eat some sea eagles if I can get their hands on them. Uh, they'll even eat clownfish. Um, like that, they'll eat a wide range of things. They'll eat jellyfish. You know, anything that happens to be around that they can fit in their mouth, they'll eat it. Uh, tiger sharks will, will eat, um, you know, red sea bass, as an example. Uh, they'll also eat sea eagles if they, you know, when they dip down, they can, you know, come up and grab them. Uh, you know, they'll eat clownfish if they can get their hands on them. Uh, sea eagles. Sea eagles, uh... Eat can you know eat basically the the red sea bass you know the clownfish you know whatever has happens to be on the surface pretty much gets it by a sea eagle uh you know sea turtles also get uh they they eat plankton and krill and they don't actually have any natural predators uh the whale shark uh eats you know the krill and uh, nothing else doesn't have any predators. Uh, the red sea bass <coughs> Sorry. Uh, just eats, you know, the algae uh, and krill. Uh, and then uh, let's talk about, you know, clownfish themselves. You know, they'll, they'll have a little nibble nibble on some mollusks here and there, you know, maybe, maybe a crab. Uh, you know, pretty much anything they can get their hands on, they'll eat it. Uh, box jellyfish will eat, uh, they'll eat clownfish. Oh, you know, even if they, if they can get their hands on one, they'll probably even eat some sea uh, horses, possibly even red sea bass, but, you know, I'm not entirely sure about that one, but they might be a little bit too big, but it should be possible. Uh, you know, giant clams, you know, as their name suggests. Uh, you know, they don't really move around, so they just eat marine algae. Uh, so, seahorses eat marine algae and krill. Uh, plankton eats, uh, you know, good old marine algae. Uh, marine algae just gets picked on. It's not very nice for marine algae these days. Uh, the krill eat the marine algae. And yeah, that's it. That's the Great Barrier Reef ecosystem and slash, you know, food chain slash food web. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.